All right, we're ready to rock. We're out here for today's shoot at the Pima Aerospace Museum. This is one of the world's largest museums and it's a non-government museum. It's got over 300 aircraft spread over 100 acres. So the project is for Athena's voice. And what this is, is this is some of the top female fighter pilots from all branches. And they are gonna share their stories um, of the incredible things they've done, the parts of history they are. And let me tell you, they're pretty amazing. So hang out, stay tuned and see how it goes. So today's shoot, so the elements we're dealing with are a lot of sun, a lot of light, a lot of heat. So how are we gonna deal with this stuff? We're gonna block it, we're gonna scrim it, we're gonna control it, we're gonna master the light. But what we're gonna use are strobes also. So we're using the Fotex Indra 500 TTL, which are the latest, greatest from Fotex. These things are pretty amazing little lights. So we have modifiers, we have beauty dish, we have strip boxes, we have big boxes. Some of my choices on the modifiers will have to be dictated by some of the conditions I have to deal with. If there's a lot of wind, I can't go with a huge modifier because it's just a, basically a big sail. But we do have big C stands, we have lots of sandbags, and we're gonna make sure everything is secured. I also have to make sure all of my style holds from today till tomorrow, so that there's a visual thread between all of these. So that means I'm gonna choose probably an F-stop, I'm gonna stay at that F-stop consistently through everything, as well as my lens selection will stay consistent. I'm not gonna go, let's say, from an 85 to a 35 back and forth the whole day, because that gives me a different visual thread. So, that's some of the details, so come along. So we have our first talent out, our first pilot. And so always the first one, there's the pieces you have to work through to get right. And once that happens, we're good. So the conditions change pretty radically. So we're having to do some adaption by putting some silks up, blocking the light. We have switched over to manual so that we can stay a little consistent because as the light was changing, TTL was giving me a little bit of a shift. Not bad, but more than I wanted. So we're gonna try and stay uh, consistent. So I've switched over to manual. I'm shooting on the Nikon D810. I think I'm staying pretty much with the um, 35 Sigma. And then I may go to some of the 24 to 70 uh, with my polarizer on it because I want to get some of this blue sky. But with the lights we're using again, those are high speed sync. So I can be at you know one five thousandths of a second and still get the sky and have the power. So it's a huge help on that stuff. So stay tuned, see how it goes. All right, so we're ready for day two. And let's talk about some of the gear that we're using today and yesterday. So I'm using the Fotex equipment and I have the Indra 500 TTL, and these are for Nikon, the setup. Well, you know, the remotes are for Nikon. And I will tell you that we could not have been as efficient yesterday without this type of gear. It's battery powered. I went almost the full day on one battery. We changed at the very end of the day just because we felt like we should back it up. The heart of the whole system that's been great is this Fotex, the Odin 2. The ability for me to change the different lights as they're staged and placed is huge. So that I can control the ratios, the powers of those lights. Um, in the old days, I have to admit that I was using dumb radio slaves. I would have to pull the light and adjust the light accordingly and, and change the power. These have been a huge help. So the modifiers for today, I have the collapsible beauty dish. This thing is rock solid. In the wind yesterday, it was a champ, held up great. We have what I call the salad bowl, but it's kind of the big, deep dish. This thing's got a great throw. We actually lit a whole plane with this yesterday. 
and on, of course, various, just the regular dishes. And these things are great. We put the gels on these last night. And then the strip box. The strip box probably will not have much action today because of the conditions. We're much windier today. So it's a little more difficult to have this with this much wind. So I think I'm gonna leave this one in the truck today. So that's the gear set up for today. Couldn't have happened without this stuff. See you soon. So we are set up for the nighttime shot of this aircraft. And I will tell you that if it wasn't for these modeling lights, these LED modeling lights, I would be in big trouble. So it's absolutely plenty to focus by. And then I have to have some up very high and in the distance. And so having the ability to control them fairly easily and even the modeling lights fairly easy from this has been a godsend. So I have them also set up so I have A, B, and C channels all set up and ready to go. The back ones have a gel, I have kind of like a blue gel on this one and then an amber gel in the back corner. And of course we're doing some more smoke which will allow those colors to be picked up by the smoke. So these have been absolutely priceless for this shoot. So we spent the day over at the B-50, similar to what we did yesterday, and now we're moving into our last three setups for the night. So the first one will be over here like we shot last night, um, which will be four light setup. I have one on the kind of the large, I call it sellable, and that'll be the main light, and then we're gonna use the small beauty dish, as well as two kickers with gels on it and the, and the smoke again. The next one will be over here with an other airplane, and we'll talk about that one later. But the cool one is this one, and check this one out. So we get to photograph this F-16 and it's in the position that we wanted. We worked it out yesterday, the position that I wanted. We tested some shots. Um, obviously the lights are on, it's gonna stay on. This ground is gonna get all wet, which is gonna give us a really great reflection. I'll strobe the back with a couple of strobes, again with the gels. And it's important with the gels because it keeps me with a cohesive thread through all the pictures. They all have the same color profile, the same color palette. And that's something that helps me. Um, and then we're gonna have the beauty dish on the front here. And we may do one more light, kind of like hitting the uh, S16 also. So this will be all wet and shiny, and it should be gorgeous. So enjoy.